Covering election 2018, interested voters have their say in one month in the Florida primary elections. The top spot in state politics, that's up for grabs with Democrats and Republicans choosing their nominee for November's decision on a new governor. The latest poll offers some insight into where people are leaning right now and the impact of President Donald Trump. President Trump isn't running for office this election, but he's a serious influencer. Brian Kemp just won Georgia's Republican primary for governor Tuesday night. Kemp has the president's endorsement and won big in the runoff. Florida Congressman Ron DeSantis has Mr. Trump's support, and in the latest poll, he has surged ahead. Absentee ballots are in the mail. It's happening. UNF's Dr. Michael Bender leads the Public Opinion Research Lab, and we spoke about the results of this Mason-Dixon poll release today. DeSantis leads by 12 points over Ag Commissioner Adam Putnam, and that's not far off a recent poll released by Florida Atlantic University. So, you know, these polls are snapshots, they're glimpses, um, but certainly there's a lot of time between now and August 28th, and there's a lot that can happen, um, especially in, in these primary races. Democrats in the poll gave the most support to Gwen Graham, the former Florida congresswoman and daughter of politician Bob Graham, coming up with 27 percent of the likely voters polled. Former Miami Beach Mayor Philip Levine was 18. Jeff Green has 12 percent. Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum, 10. Chris King, 7 percent. Polling is difficult. Uh, it's it's even exponentially more difficult in primaries where people don't have that party ID label to fall back on for information. And it gets even more complicated, particularly on the Democratic side, where you have four or you know, potentially five people listed in the race that don't have the biggest of name recognition. Mayor Levine had been about even with Graham until businessman Jeff Green jumped into the race. So we've got a great way for you to get more information about the candidates. In less than two weeks, each of those candidates will be in Jacksonville and on Channel 4. Wednesday, August 8th, we hold the Republican debate between DeSantis and Putnam. I'll moderate that event from Jacksonville University starting at 8. And that'll be live both on air and online. The next night, August 9th, the five Democrats in the race join me for a town hall candidates forum. Early voting begins the following week.